If you want to keep your personal data completely private and secure, but you live in the United Kingdom, where in order to comply with government demands, Apple is disabling advanced data protection, you need to find an alternative to iCloud's sync and backup features. That's because the only option is to not use iCloud. Without advanced data protection, there's no getting around it. The government can snoop on your personal data. Here's what you should do. If you use iCloud, your data is stored in multiple different places. There's the data that's locally stored on your device, like your iPhone, your Mac, and there's the data that's in Apple's data centers, their servers that make up iCloud. Now, your data is always encrypted across the internet between the two when they're syncing with each other, but it can be unlocked in a few different ways. Your data can be unlocked using your Apple account password and using a secret key that Apple holds on to in case you happen to forget your password. Governments frequently ask Apple to use its key to hand over little slices of user data stored on its servers, and Apple is legally compelled to do so. Now, advanced data protection is a feature that gives you full control of that secondary key. Apple cannot access your data at all with advanced data protection on because it doesn't have the ability to decrypt the data on its own servers. And this is the feature that the UK law has prohibited. The UK wants Apple to have all the keys so that it can keep asking Apple to hand over data about its UK citizens. There are a few exceptions. Messages, health data, and passwords are always end-to-end -end encrypted. Apple doesn't keep a key to those. But there's an exception to that as well, because some of your messages are included in your device backups, and Apple can unlock those. And in addition to your photo library, browser history, notes, so much more, if you live in the United Kingdom and you want to stay protected, you really should not be using iCloud. So what can you do? First, you need to disable advanced data protection. Everybody is going to be compelled to turn it off eventually anyways, so you may as well rip the band-aid off. Open settings, tap on your name at the top, iCloud, advanced data protection, turn off advanced data protection. Don't worry, in the instructions that follow, I'll make sure all of your valuable data is pulled off so that you're still protected even without advanced data protection. Next, you should disable syncing your photo library to iCloud. You can continue using the Photos app to manage your library offline, but we'll have to disable syncing to iCloud, and then I'll show you how to do that. On your iPhone, iPad, or Vision Pro, open Settings, tap on your name at the top, tap iCloud Photos, and then disable Sync This Device. When prompted, tap Download Photos and Videos. If you don't have enough storage space on your iPhone or iPad, you may want to do this on your Mac as well. On a Mac, open the Photos app, go to Photos, Settings, and the menu bar, and click the iCloud tab. Make sure Download Originals to this Mac is checked, and then disable iCloud Photos. If you don't have enough free storage on your Mac to keep your entire library, then you can check out our buying guide for external SSD storage and you can move your photo library to an external disk using the Finder. Switch to the Finder, and then in the menu bar, click Go Home, click the Pictures folder, and then copy your photo library to your external storage device. Double-click the photo library on your external drive to open it, and in the pop-up menu, click Switch. On a PC, all you have to do is uninstall the iCloud for Windows app. So if you're not syncing your photos over iCloud, you'll have to sync them manually. And you can do this using a Mac or a PC. Plug your phone into your computer to get started. On a Mac, open Photos. With your phone plugged in, you should see it appear in the sidebar in the Devices section. Select it, then click Import All New Items to sync your photos. Alternatively, if you just want to store your photos on your file system, you can use Image Capture. On a PC, you can import all your latest shots using Photos, Microsoft's similarly named but completely unrelated app for Windows 10. With your phone still plugged into your computer, now is a good time to make your first device backup as well. On a Mac, open the Finder, 
and then click on your device in the sidebar. Select Backup all of the data on your iPhone to this Mac. Enable Encrypt Local Backup if you want to give it a password to be extra secure. Then click Backup Now. You can click Manage Backups and delete an old one if you no longer need it. On a PC, download the Apple Devices app from the Windows Store. With your phone plugged in, just click Backup Now. With all your devices now synced to your computer, you can go around and delete your iCloud backups. Open Settings, tap on your name at the top, iCloud, iCloud Backup. At the bottom of the screen, it'll list all your devices that are backed up to iCloud. Tap on each one and tap Turn Off and Delete from iCloud. And confirm by tapping Turn Off and Delete. On the previous page, if Backup This iPhone isn't disabled, then make sure to do so. And for good measure, go around with every device and make sure that setting is turned off. So you're no longer syncing your photo library, you have a full copy of your photo library, you have backups of all your devices, and you've deleted the backups from iCloud. Now it's time to delete iCloud's copy of your photos. To make extra sure that we're only deleting them out of iCloud and not any of your devices, we're going to delete your photo library using iCloud.com. Using your computer, open a web browser, go to iCloud.com and sign in. Launch photos from the landing screen. Click to select one photo, then hit Command A or Control A on a PC to select everything and click delete. Your entire photo library will be moved to recently deleted, but you shouldn't permanently delete them yet. I recommend you wait a day or two double and triple check on all your devices that you still have your photos. If your photo library disappears on any of these devices, that means they're still syncing to iCloud and you need to go back and make sure you're following the earlier steps correctly. Now it's time to turn off iCloud for the many other apps and services that may use it. Open settings, tap on your name at the top, tap iCloud, and under saved to iCloud, tap see all. It's very close to the drive button, so make sure you tap on the right thing. Go through the list and disable syncing to iCloud for everything. When you download a new app from the App Store, it'll appear fresh on this list, so make sure you keep coming back to it to disable everything. With the exception of messages, health, and passwords and keychain. Again, those are encrypted end to end, so you don't have to worry about disabling those assuming you follow the prior instructions to disable iCloud backups. Next up, if you have any files saved to iCloud Drive, you should download and delete those. On a Mac, open the Finder, and then in the menu bar, click Go, iCloud Drive, or hit Shift-Command-I. Select everything with Command-A, and then copy it to a different folder on your Mac, like Documents. After your Mac copies it all, go back and delete the contents of iCloud Drive. On a PC, you can sign into iCloud.com and then launch iCloud Drive in the web browser. Click the Browse tab in the sidebar. You can select multiple files at once by holding down the Shift key and then click the Download button to download them all. Although, unfortunately, you can't download an entire folder at once, so downloading everything may be a little tedious. If you use iCloud Mail, you should definitely switch to a different email provider. Your email is one of the most personal revealing data stores, and unfortunately, it is not encrypted. On a Mac, you can easily export your mail history. Click on a mailbox in the sidebar, and then in the menu bar, click Mailbox, Export Mailbox. Pick a folder, and then click Choose to export it. When you switch to a different mail provider, you may be able to import your mailbox. So let's talk alternatives. Instead of Apple Mail, Calendar, Reminders, and iCloud Drive, I can personally recommend Proton Mail. The free tier is a little limiting, but it's enough to dip your toes in and see if you like it. The paid tier is $9.99 a month for 500 gigabytes. And that's a lot of emails. It also adds a full VPN you can use to protect all your internet traffic. Instead of iCloud Photos, you can use Entei. It supports many of the same features. Albums, face tagging, even family sharing. It's open source and end-to-end -end encrypted. 
It's a little more expensive than iCloud Photos with 200 gigabytes at $4.99 a month, but you can start with five gigabytes for free to see if you like it. And it runs on all major platforms. And if you really want cloud syncing notes back, you can try out standard notes. It's fully encrypted and many of its features are free, so you can try it out at no extra cost. So that is, to the best of my knowledge, how you can stay protected. And bear in mind that while this particular law only applies to the United Kingdom, you're not entirely in the clear in the rest of the world. The UK has just demonstrated to every other government how to pass a law allowing its police to spy on its citizens, and Apple has just clearly demonstrated that it can and will comply. If you live in the United States, Germany, Italy, Japan, pay attention. Call your representatives to make sure a law like this is not passed in your country, but be prepared for the situation where it might. I'm D. Griffin Jones with Cult of Mac.